I think several good things came out of the election right now. Taking anything off the table and making America a less powerful, <clears throat> less dominant with energy is just nuts. So you don't want to do that. The initiative petition uh, idea in Colorado got beat soundly, and uh, we hope that never comes back. But, you know, uh, America is in very good position. Uh, I heard the conversation also with natural gas. Mm -hmm. Certainly that is an ace in the hole. We have the cheapest gasoline prices in the world today. And, uh, you know, so, uh, you know, as far as any uh, major increases uh, with crude oil and, and uh, gasoline prices in the future, I, th I think we might see a moderate increase, but not, not major. So we're, we're in awfully good shape here in America. Harold, uh, there's been a lot of speculation that the U.S. liquefied natural gas industry would suffer because of these tariffs uh, in this battle, this trade war with China. W what's the situation so far? China is a big importer of liquefied natural gas. If there are massive tariffs that, uh, that come to bear, what, what will the impact be? Well, you know, uh, they are a, an important uh, importer, uh, but it really comes down to only about 4%. So it, uh, you know, the tariffs hadn't been a, a big factor as of yet. Uh, you know, still their best deal is to, to buy LNG from America. So it's a, it's a great thing. We've not had a, any adverse uh, effect uh, from that so far. But what do you anticipate will happen if this stretches out, if there are additional tariffs that are placed, uh, let's say, by February? Well, you know, if there's a di additional tariffs, you know, it may slow down uh, a little bit. But, you know, basically here you've been waiting on the uh, capacity to come about. So a lot of demand out there uh, for our LNG. So we haven't been impacted by lack of demand. There's just a, a tremendous amount uh, for this fuel around the world. Are you seeing any changing behavior on the part of Chinese and where they're buying their crude oil? Uh, no, we, uh, you know, I think the as far as where people are buying their crude oil, there there is some, there's going to be some changes. You know, if you uh, pull back, uh, you know, on the Iranian sanctions, uh, that that uh, demand goes somewhere else. So, yes, there's a there's a a, a lot of shift there uh, hey. with crude oil, but. You know, there's uh, we we have good export uh, capabilities, and uh, we're we're building on that right now. Harold, we saw a big run up in oil prices uh, as we headed into those anticipated sanctions on Iran. We we've seen a big pullback in oil prices since then. Uh, in fact, oil prices have come down to their lowest levels in about seven months. Does that surprise you? It it did a little bit. Uh, you're you're exactly right. There's been a, a pullback. Uh, you know, I think uh, there's been more supply brought on here in the U.S. than people anticipated. Uh, you know, since horizontal drilling came about uh, here in America, we've done a remarkable thing in the last 10 years. Uh, we've doubled uh, the production mm -hmm. capacity. Uh, it's all due to horizontal drilling here in America. And in terms of what that means for oil prices down the road, even if the Saudis were to stop pumping quite as much, you think the American supply would just step up and fill the gap again? I think we can. Uh, obviously, uh, we're still growing supply here in America. There's some infrastructure challenges uh, in the Permian and, and other places. Uh, with this much expansion, you'd expect that. Uh, so a lot of pipelines are being built. Uh, there's pipeline reversals that's going on, and uh, you know we'll take care of it. But. Anyway, there's, uh, there's additional capacity that uh, we see come, coming on that uh, will we'll fill the demand here in America. Does that mean you're not going to, you don't anticipate oil prices going to $100? Because that's what we were talking about just a few weeks ago. I, I don't anticipate $100 oil. What do you think, I, I certainly don't. What do you think is the, the right price for oil, given global demand pictures at this point and our supply? You know, we could see a 20% increase, uh, you know, and still be uh, in a reasonable range. Uh, I think that's where most people come down uh, uh, as far as their prediction goes. So, uh, you know, it's, it's not going to go out the roof, that's for sure.